Hi guys, it's a hot one in the Sarah N. Tuned garage today. It's like 103 outside and it's over 90 in my garage right now. And this cooler is not doing anything. But today, I'm going to be working on Teeter Tot, Audi TT project car for all you new folk. There's a link up above to the playlist, get you caught up on this car. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do on the TT because the vinyl color has been chosen by Patreon for the wrap job on the TT. Now I'm not revealing it in this video, but I want you guys to know that I am making progress on this build and the color reveal will be coming very soon. I gotta order the vinyl still, so I think it makes more sense to reveal it when I actually have the vinyl here. Plus, I got that sponsorship that hopefully I should be getting the parts here any day now, I hope. My goal for today is I want to get the last few mechanical things done on the TT that I really need to address before this thing will be safe to drive because I need to go get an exhaust made on it. Now notice it's nighttime out. That's because I vacuumed the car. I couldn't help it. It was so gross in there. I just, I had to vacuum it out. I didn't do a full detail on it. I'm gonna save that for another time. But it's a little bit cleaner on the inside now. So I have some parts here. I have some miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to put on the car. Uh, the main focus is right now I have a new temp sensor because right now the cooling fans don't turn on, which is a huge issue obviously when it's 100 degrees outside. So it's the next day and um, I just had to take Sarah to the airport because uh, her mom passed away this morning. So yeah, it really sucks, really sad for her and her family. Um, that kind of <laughs> took me by surprise. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Sarah is my roommate. She's in a lot of my other videos. She's the small, the small Sarah, <laughs> I'm the large Sarah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting my morning to start off like this, but we never are when these things happen. It was really crazy. I lost my grandma a week ago, not even a week ago, literally days ago, and then Sarah loses her mom today. Her mom was a really nice lady too. She was really sweet. She was like a second mom to me. So, um, alright, car stuff. All right, so what I need to replace on the TT, two of the main issues that are really annoying when you drive this car are the oil pressure light that gives off a warning as soon as you start the car because the oil pressure is not the issue, it's the sensor, it's bad. So I gotta change that as well as the fan switch which is located down here on the bottom corner of the radiator. From looking under the car here, that little plug in the center of the screen with the little two red wires right there, that is the fan switch. So I need to disconnect that and unscrew it. Hopefully not lose too much coolant. So uh, the sensor that I got at O'Reilly's is the wrong sensor. Apparently in the 2000 model year, the VIN number splits and the sensor changes. If you're wondering about the shirt, yes, this is my, my merch. I bought a couple of my own shirts just to see how they fit. I'm really happy with the quality and I'm kind of obsessed with my own merch shirt. I'm gonna buy two more of them because they're really cute. 
and I'm gonna come up with some more designs here pretty soon. It's really difficult to design merch and work on project cars and then film me working on project cars and then edit the videos and then have life stuff all happen all at once. Like, it's really difficult to do all this stuff by myself. It's just a one woman operation here, I'm doing everything that I can to make great content for you guys. You absolutely have to be kidding me right now. It's got one terminal on it. See this plug in my fingers? You gotta be kidding me. The oil pressure switch is disconnected. It's been disconnected on this car the entire time. Here goes nothing. My, my bun is hitting the ceiling. That's it. That's awesome. That's all it was. It was unplugged. Man, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. The junkyard closes at 5. I think I should try to go to the junkyard. And we'll do meal time when I get back. Because I need some stuff for the interior. I got number seven, it's supposedly the fastest golf cart here. I don't know what that means, but uh, let's go find this teeter tot or mashed potato tot. I've always liked these the little compressor hatchback Mercedes. That'd be a fun drift car project. Poor clips. Where is this teeter tot? Mash teeter tot. Keep calling it teeter tot. It's a mash teeter tot. Oh, the celica. Oh, I'm not going down there. Is this a bi turbo? Well, it's a 1.8T. I wonder if there's anything on this I could use. All right. I found, I found it. Well, the shut tower bar is still here. Good. Oh good, I need this and I need this. Good, good, good. Hey look, there's the cup holders. So you guys said these cup holders for the TTs are really expensive. And um, I'm gonna take it. Boom, there's that longitudinal sensor. I'm taking that right there, good. See, I was smart this time. I checked on my car what size everything was before I came here, so I made sure I had the right tools. I didn't do that last time. One nut, ah, ah, ah. Two nuts, ah, ah, ah. Three nuts, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, that's hot. It's very hot. Super hot. I really don't understand why this thing came to the junkyard because the body is in perfect shape. This thing honestly is probably in better shape than mine was when I bought mine. Good. Good. I didn't break it. That dude's walking around with a box on his head. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred outside right now. It feels like it, but check it out. I got my Longitudinal sensor. These things are like $250. So I'm glad I got this. Oh, this is gonna suck. This cord had white wheels on it. At least I got these little plastic bits I can install. I had to go order the fan switch at O'Reilly's. They didn't have the correct one in stock. So I got a fan switch on order. I got a timing belt, a water pump with a metal impeller, and a new pulley and a tensioner as well for that system.
Yeah, buddy. Got a strut tower bar. Looks so good now with a nice forge intake tube and the forge blow up valve back there. This right here, I grabbed off the other TT. This is the brake pad wear sensor that I cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to splice these two wires together and then wrap it up and install it on my car so that way I don't have the stupid warning light for brake pads being worn. Because when I do the Porsche 986 Boxster Brembos in the front, obviously it's gonna be a completely different system on this car and I don't need the car telling me, hey, replace your brake pads because I'm a mechanic. And I can tell when I need to replace my brake pads. Just like that. What I did was I used some heat shrink and I heat shrinked it. So now I got my uh, my homemade little sensor or a sensor delete. Plug that in right there. I'm gonna see if it worked first and if it worked then I'm gonna zip tie that up so it's nice and secure and out of the way. Boom. System okay. Ta-da! I fixed it. I said I was gonna do mail time, now I shall deliver. So, I got a bunch of packages. This one's really large. Oh, Matt sent me a, a friend <laughs> because when I was trying to bleed the, the clutch on the MR2, I had no one to hold the clutch pedal. So he sent me a person to hold the clutch pedal. <laughs> sent me some muscle. I don't even need to sign up for Tinder anymore. I can just... Oh, don't take it that way. No, no, no. Never mind. I meant the muscle part. Never mind. Gary from Australia sent me. Dude, no way. Audi TT service manual. Thank you so much. Oh my god. This is. Oh, no way. I'm going to be using this every single time I work on the TT. Literally, because I have to have my TO out or else QA will write me up. <laughs> Next package is a rather large one. What is Spider Automotive? Oh my god! No way! He sent me some taillights for the TT. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, this is so awesome. You must have sent this before I got the new taillights at the junkyard. Oh, this one's broken. Oh no. It broke in shipping. Oh, sad. I'm sad. Thank you so much though for the taillights. I know there's a lot of people right now watching this that are mad too. I can't believe that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I can contact the company, but I know they're gonna say, well, did you open them when they were delivered? But the problem is they went to a PO box. So I didn't open it at the PO box because I gotta do mail time with it. That sucks. That sucks really bad. Next box is from Kevin. And Kevin sent me a box that I just cut upside down. I opened it upside down. <laughs> oh, awesome. So these parts were actually left over from his 1.8T that he never ended up using. Oh, thank you. Oh, you sent me some chocolate? Oh. Whew. Dude. He sent me some Samco silicone hoses. What are these? Little plastic snap snaps? What do these snap snaps go to? Oh, dude, this is like the complete Samco hose kit for the entire car. Thank you so much. Oh, it's intercooler piping too. Here's a picture of Kevin's Audi TT. These are leftover parts that he had leftover from it. So this one is from Sean in Australia. Did I say that right? Australia? <laughs> that is so awesome. It's an Australian license plate with a Subaru frame. Thank you, Sean from Northern Territory, Australia. Oh, I love this. Caleb sent me a box that I'm struggling to open. What? Oh, well, that's so cool. It's a Pennsylvania plate that says Sarah in Tune. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. What is in the box in the box? 
Oh, 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 he zipped me an owl. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and a gas monkey shirt. And then there's a box inside the box inside the box. GameStop, you play at GameStop. Oh, no way. He sent me a Fallout coffee mug that glows when it's hot. If you guys don't know what Fallout is, it's a game. It's like a post-apocalyptic game and I don't ever have time to play video games anymore, sadly, because I'm always filming or working on cars. But, oh, that made me so happy. Oh, I love this. That made me happy, thank you. Oh, that's sad. So Henry from Iowa sent me a license plate from his 93 Thunderbird, but the sad part is his 93 Thunderbird was destroyed in Hurricane Sandy when it hit New Jersey. Oh, that's sad, I'm sorry. Your license plate's got a new home on the wall. Next package is from Steve, and he sent, what? I have a little wire rack now that I can put on the wall, and now I have stock wire when I need it instead of cutting pieces of old wiring harnesses off and reusing them on <laughs> cars. Thank you, Steve. This is awesome. Yay! Aww. It doesn't say who it's from, but somebody sent me a little garage stool because I don't have a stool in here. Usually I just sit on random things in my garage. Sometimes they're painful when I sit on them, like my air compressor, and that it broke the gauge with my butt cheek. This one is from Joe. It says, Mighty Car Mods? What? It's from Mighty Car Mods? Awesome! It's a Mighty Car Mods merch. A little banner thing? A little, I don't know what these are called. It's like a collar. I think I just turned that naughty somehow. I like, what was the car? Gramps? Super Gramps? Oh, that's so cool. I don't have any more room left on my wall in my garage. I have to hang this up in my office now. I guess I'll have to start decorating my office. It doesn't say who it's from. Well, that's awesome. TT's Rock. E. Egerson sent me Oh, thank you. He sent me some alligator clips for my multimeter because I don't have any. Thank you. Keep up the good work from Duke. So Duke sent me a license plate. Is it a North Carolina license plate? Because isn't there a like, sports thing, Duke? They're, they have a sports thing there. That's Duke, right? An Iowa license plate. Thank you, Duke, for the Iowa license plate. Gary sent me. This is so cute. Advice from Sasquatch. I'm gonna hang this up in the living room since it matches in there. Thank you. For those of you that sent letters, just because I'm not reading them on camera does not mean I don't read them. I do read them, I just don't read them on camera because I would have like a 75 hour long video. Sarah Entune, show me the beans. License plate frame. Merch idea? Should I start selling merch like that? Oh, you got one for little Sarah too. Oh my god. Little Sarah, I never lose my focus. That is so cute. Thank you, I wish she was here to see it. Well, she'll watch the YouTube video. She would say thank you though. So that's it for mail time. Thank you guys for everything that you sent me and I'm going to read all these letters after I pick up the massive pile of cardboard on my floor. And um, I think tomorrow I'm just gonna like refocus and kinda, I don't know, get my head clear and get back to working on these cars. And uh, I got some cooling fans I gotta go pick up for the MR2 and I ordered some intercooler piping for it too. So. Got some more parts with MR2 coming, and hopefully should have the items that were sponsored for the TT here soon, and we'll get the vinyl wrap on here hopefully soon as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you soon with another. Bye.